you, Rob. What are your thoughts on melatonin? Oh man, that's a goodie. Um, you know, it's interesting. Like, uh, uh, I've had some reservations around metal melatonin in the past. I mean, you're taking a important neurotransmitter that's involved in the initiation of sleep. You know, is there a possibility of down-regulating normal production? And the, the research on it is interesting. It suggests that it probably doesn't down-regulate uh, uh, normal production. So, like, you can use it and then go off of it, and there's typically not, like, sleep latency problems and whatnot. Um, I've definitely used it uh, quite a bit with traveling, and I find it really helpful to kind of help to um, set up a new circadian environment if we if we you know you travel three or more time zones and it becomes more and more important to do that um, doing a little bit of fasting getting out in the morning sun like really trying to sleep as close to uh, the new time zone as you can is important and melatonin can help set that up but I've also noticed that if I uh, the kind of cool thing about melatonin is it, it'll, for me, I'll, I'll take a gram and a half or milligram and a half to, to two milligrams and it puts me out really quick and that, that's cool on the one hand, but what I've noticed is if I get kind of a uh, serial usage, I'll use it multiple days in a row, I start getting depressed. Like I, I think I end up in this almost kind of uh, dopamine deficient kind of brain state. I'm really lethargic, really tired in the morning. And there's a decent amount of information in the literature that suggests that for some people um, with different types of de depression or tendency towards depression, seasonal affective disorder and stuff like that, it can be a little bit of a double-edged sword. So um, if you have sleep problems, uh, I think that the first place to look as much as possible is trying to plug all the gaps in the circadian biology story, the circadian rhythm, getting outside early, um, getting sun on your person, getting sun in your in your eyes and all that, and then kind of somewhat sparingly using um, melatonin. Also, like uh, uh, Dr. Kirk Parsley put together the Sleep Remedy product, which is is cool in that it's uh, uh, 200 micrograms of melatonin. So it's a very small dose, and usually the sublingual tablets come in milligram doses. So you're you're talking about a significantly higher level of melatonin entering the system potentially than what we would have under physiological conditions. So if you can find something that is a physiological dose, like that 200 micrograms, that, that might be uh, more tenable over long-term usage, but I would just definitely keep a, an eye on, you know, like depressed feelings in the morning and lethargy and that type of thing.